All right, guys and girls, this is Jerningham here. We're going to have a serious talk on this video of what I'm going to be doing. We're going to be talking about many things in my way. Some people may take it the wrong way, others may not. But what an activist is in the UK is where they, they cause trouble, make destruction, damage things and smash up stuff. Now, a lot of people in the world want to have a happy life and a peaceful life. They don't want to go through violence. They don't want to be seeing people hurt or anything else. What would their mom and dads think about this? To be very disgraceful or they don't care or they disown their family members for doing this sort of stuff. The thing is, in my mind, in my world that I'm in, you wouldn't go into somebody else's living room and smash it up, would you? But they'd rather go outside and break up everybody else's things. That's just what we have happening in this video. Now, now they want to be, they want to drag people down. They want to hurt people mentally, annoy people, and the, all the police are doing is doing their job in the world, helping people. Some police can be idiots. Every, we can all be idiots. We can all be horrible. We can all be stupid in the world. Just because you wear a badge or you wear any uniform. The real issue at the moment in the police in the world in some places are worse than others. That the gangs and the police are at war with each other. We all know this. And some gangs from other areas are at war with each other. It's the same in the UK. It's the same in America. Now, the thing is, people want to have an ordinary life and a happy life. People have worked hard for all these things that they've got in their life. If people own a cafe, own a shop, or own anything in life, a house, or something like a car, they've always worked wanted to buy or a dream they've wanted to have and someone takes it away from them. Does that make it right? It makes it wrong, in my opinion. Now, why, the reasons why I'm doing this video is to make people understand and be aware. What happens because of the Bristol in the UK violence happened with the police officer? What, what happens if there would have been police officers in that van and they torched it with the police in there? That's what would have happened. The police would have died in there. And that would have caused a lot of problems in the UK. But the police sort of left the vehicle and left it there. Now, the thing is, this violence is not going to be in one area. Okay? Lots of us wish it would never happen. I understand that. I agree with that. None of us want this, especially with the coronavirus going around in the world. But you guys and girls got to understand there's some selfish people in the world. And they do anything to upset people and get in people's nerves and get under their skin. I'm sorry that we live in the world where type people like that. But the thing is, this violence will probably spread across the UK. Like coronavirus has spread it across the UK, and it's upset a lot of people. Most people have died of it. Loads of have, have not survived. Some have gone over it. And some have had the second doses of coronavirus. Um, just be prepared. And uh, what I say to you guys and girls out there, don't get involved in what they do. They're the ones who's going to get arrested. You're not going to get arrested, are you? If you're joining what they, what they do, sometimes the police may be out of numbers, but the thing is they're, they're always filming things and they're always making sure things are going to be right and eventually they will lock you up. Regardless of what you do and smash up their property, they will they, they, they will lock you up, put it in that way. Um, they will really do you in, in some kind of way. Lots of us don't like police. Some of us don't, some of us do. But you need to think, if them police weren't there, what would the world be like? It'd be hell. People stabbing each other, people shooting each other. So what's it going to be, guys and girls? If you guys and girls were in trouble and somebody was coming after you with a knife or a gun, what would you say? And who would you call? The police, wouldn't you? Or would you deal with yourself? Sometimes you can't deal with yourself and you need someone to help you. Now, if you're violent with the police and horrible with them, they're going to think, well, the last time they smashed up our property, why should we help them? This is what the police are like with, every, not with everyone, with some sort of people. Um, sometimes they could be annoying. They probably think we're annoying as well. But you've got to think, if you're in trouble and in danger, you're going to call. You're going to call Ghostbusters, are you? You're going to call the cops, aren't you? So sometimes... You got, it's best to not say anything at all than say something. And the reason why I'm saying this on this video is, you know, sometimes it's best to feed the hand that feeds you. 
take a leap in life and take what's there. Because if you don't, you can mess things up. If you are in danger in real life, they're going to think, oh, it's just a prank call. Remember what happened last time? He did these things to our things and this and that. Either. Not talking about me, talking about you guys and girls out there, what are you doing trouble out there? They look at it as that, they think it's just crying wolf. And you don't want that to happen, do you? And then if a murder does really happen, then they're not going to help you. So you've really got to think. You either work with them if you don't. They're not probably, the police are probably not bothered either, either way. But it makes your life a lot better in yourself. If you go out causing trouble and smashing up shops and breaking things, it's only going to come back and bite you in the ass. So, we all get angry, we all get annoyed, we all get frustrated. Do we, do we go out smashing stuff, robbing things from shops, annoying people? I mean, I get annoyed. Do you, do you see me going outside smashing shit, robbing people? Hmm? You don't, do you? We're, we're all struggling in this world because of the way it is. It doesn't make the right for you guys and girls, some of you, not all of you like that, some of you. Of the smashing up police cars. What's it going to solve? You getting locked up in prison? Police cell? <laughs> Didn't forget that, did you? Flown, throwing your own life away. Now, I get annoyed at a lot of people. Sometimes it's best to just walk away and drop it. Now, these things are going to go across the UK, Scotland, Ireland, and Wales. Unless we've learned from the last time since 2011. When it kicked off in London and all the smashing happened with the, with the riots. Now, no one's perfect in the world, but we can always try and be helpful. Some people don't think about themselves except the rubbers. Remember that is, some people only think about number one, only them, nobody else. Think about how would you think they would feel in their shoes, in the world, the police officers. How scared do you think they feel? Hmm? You don't realise it, do you? They're just as scared as, just, as much as we are. Standing there. Guarding things. you got to think. And some people say they don't take sides. They bleed the same. They have the same emotions as us, or probably different. And you go there, go there writing and smashing them. You think they get targeted, the police, and they target you. And you wonder why, and you cry wolf and say... Oh, they did stuff to us. Well, I'm not surprised. If you're attacking the police, they're going to attack you back. Vice versa, self-defense. It's the same in the army. What would you do in the army if someone was shooting at you? you shoot back, wouldn't you? If a terrorist tried to pull out a gun at you, what would you do? Talk him down or shoot him? The reason why I'm doing this video is for you guys and girls to understand. Sometimes it's best to walk away from a fight than start one. Now... I'm not speaking for everybody. It's your choice what you do. But you can. some people can mess it up. And what I'm saying in here is pretty true what I'm saying about starting a fight and joining the fight. Sometimes it's best to walk away from one. I'm not being silly. I'm not being horrible. I'm speaking words of wisdom of what you guys and girls need to hear. Sometimes you probably don't want to hear it. Fine. But if it saves your life and makes sure you're not in prison and you've got your own life there, take, take a leap at the book. Do you know what I mean? Think. You could get your whole life ahead of you. And some people don't have a life. You mess up your life, the authorities have been on your ass for a long time. See, when I talk about words, I'm pretty clever, aren't I? I'm going to get going. This is what I do on my videos. But the thing is, you do something to somebody else in the world, they'll retaliate to you. You take one of our brothers, we'll come after you. I shouldn't be here, the one that has to speak about this and get on here and talk about it. Lots of us have fucked up and messed up in our lives. Some of us don't realise we've done it. But the thing is, you've got to understand, once you've taken a life, you can't respawn a life again. It's not like a video game. It's not like Jumanji. It's not like any game that you play. And some people think about an afterlife. There's bound to be something else after. But the thing is, when you need help and someone ignores you, it's not going to be good. Now think about it in this way. 
if you're bleeding out, stabbed, stabbed on the floor, and someone that knows you and walks past you, you're not going to like it, are you? So remember the words I say in this video. It's nothing horrible or cruel. You want you you activists want violence with the police. The police don't care. It's their job. The police just laugh. Each time you fuck around with the police, and they know it's a swear word, they make your life hell. They don't care. They think what another idiot again. Now, if you want the police to help you in the world, be nice to them. They'll be nice to you. But some, I'm not going to disagree. There is a lot of nasty police out there. And they probably think it about us civilians. But if you want your life to go smoother, with having police on your back all the time and watching over your shoulder, it's not nice. But anyway, guys and girls, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Give it a like and give it a comment. Show it your friends. But please think about what you're doing. Because one of these days, what if you guys and girls out there wanted a girlfriend or a boyfriend? Then you fucked up your life and you have nobody, will you? Your family disown you. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I've, I've said what I've had to have said tonight. Thank you for joining me. Peace. I will be back again to do some more videos. Keep safe. Peace. Rocket